Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the scrapbooking photographer and Linda is my name. Today I am here to take part in the YouTube hop Coast to Coast, where we follow some prompts that have been drawn from the deck of cards of Story by Stacey. So these are the October prompts. We have uh, home from childhood home, family home, first home, something like that. Uh, one big photo, all time favorite self portrait. So one big photo is what we is the prompt for what we do, and the others are suggestions, interactive flaps, pulls, spinners, something like that, and an acronym. I thought that the interactive and the acronym could go together and I would use FYI on the pull for a hidden journaling box behind the photo. The one big photo I'm going to use is this one which is of my family um, a few years ago in the backyard of the house. We don't live in this house anymore but the, the fence gave quite a nice neutral backdrop. First thing I'm going to do with the photo is get rid of some of the negative space on either side and make this image more square. I line the photo up where the blade is going to go down here. I can also see where I would like it along here. Now this is a 10 by 8 so it's 8 inches wide so if I can get it to 8 inches along I would like to do that and I think I can. So we'll go ahead and just come in a bit there. And then I can come around and measure that at eight. And if I did it right, yep, we miss his feet. The other colours that go with this are charcoal, harbour, espresso, and mist. Now I'd like some lighter stuff in there as well, so we've got a toffee, possibly a shortbread might be better, or a French vanilla. The shortbread isn't quite right either, but if I bring in a piece of vellum, that just tones everything down very nicely. So because we've got so many options, I think what I'm going to do is have strips along the side. So I like to start, when I'm doing stripes, start dark at the bottom. So we'll just see how this kind of looks. If we go that, with a little bit of vellum and we'll intersperse it with a bit of this. And perhaps a little bit of that as well. And maybe a little bit of that too. So what I'm going to do is tear some strips. So I'll speed this video up a little bit now and just talk through what I'm doing. Paper tearing is a great way to bring a little bit more white into the layout, particularly when you're staggering all these different colours. I just feel that the paper tearing gives a little bit of relief to the sharpness of all the different colours. And with close to my heart papers, because they're double sided with a white core, when you tear the but the cardstock towards you then you reveal the white core in the middle giving you that different look it also gives you two different colors that you can do it with if you tear it um, in a different direction each time so here i've started with the harbor at the bottom so that we've got the heavier darker colors weighted down the bottom and then i go into the mist and the espresso and then decide to bring in a little bit of that plaid mocha color and I think that goes best in between the harbour and the mist. So I just slot it in there. Using the Versamat as a way to keep everything straight is a good idea too because you don't want things even more crooked um, along the bottom and the side when you've got such haphazardness going through the middle. So here I am slotting um, <clears throat> a charcoal in there before the mist as well. So it's just a matter of working out what looks right. And as I get further to the top, um, I'm trying to get lighter, but I'm running out of colours. So what I'm going to do is use the other side of harbour uh, and put the light side face up. So you can see there it's just slightly lighter. And then I'll do the same with the charcoal. 
I'll be interested to see what other people come up with for these prompts. So be sure to follow everybody else that's on this hop and get some other ideas. This is about when I had a light bulb moment when I was testing it against the 11 inch wide white daisy and it suddenly occurred to me that I could do a white frame around the outside which would further accentuate all that core that is showing um, throughout the layout. So the top, with the top one, I've turned it up the other way so that we end up with straight edges along the top, the bottom and both sides. And when you put it on the white daisy, um, it looks really cool with that white frame around it as well. Now to soften the photo, I've brought in some vellum and I'm also going to use um, a little piece of espresso, which I'll go around the outside with my distressor to again give that uh, distressed look to go with the tearing in the background. So I can stick this down now and putting the, the paper tearing on first, just making sure it's square on all corners by using the grid on the Versamat. And then I can put the piece of vellum down as well and just make sure that the tape is on the inside where the photo is going to go. I can also mount the photo onto the espresso and then to put it onto the vellum, I'm using the um, foam tape just to raise it up so that we've got some room to put in our hidden journaling box. And you'll notice I have only put tape on three corners and leaving one corner blank for this little journaling box. So I'm making that at the moment from a piece of harbour with a piece of white daisy on top that I can write on. And then I'm going to use a tab from the thin cuts set to add a tab onto the end. So I'm going to cut two um, of the tabs so that I can put them back to back and give it just that little bit extra strength on the edge of the pull tab. I'll just stick those tabs back to back as I say and give that a little bit more strength. And then I can pop the, a piece of white daisy on top and do my journaling, which is really just about the who, where, and um, when it was. So that's all done. And then slitting it onto the back of the picture there, I can use the foam tape to go around just the outside of it, and that's where it's going to fit. Sometimes I put it in a plastic bag, but this seemed to work better today, just so that it can slide in and out. So I'll take all the backing off that foam tape now and mount the picture on top of the vellum and then I'll be able to slide the journaling box in. There we are, hidden away. So my acronym FYI is on the edge of the journaling box just to prompt people to lift it out and have a read. For the title I've decided to do the word family in the thin cut letters. And on the dark side of harbour, you saw me just check the colour there so that the title at the top matches the side of the harbour that we use down the bottom. So I'll just um, put those on the top of the picture and I'm just going to be quite haphazard about it. And then I'll add a few little gems, which I end up um, changing the position of, which you'll see in the final close-ups at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this video about my family photo. And uh, we have met all the criteria from the prompts that we were given. So if you'd like to try it yourself, take a screenshot and you can copy this layout for yourself. Happy crafting everybody and thank you so much for watching.